Okay. So, oops. All right, now, with a standard deviation, 34% um, of a bell curve is in this area right here. And 34% is right here because it's symmetric. It's the same on the left and the right, which means, and I'm going to write this up here, that 68% of the data is within one standard deviation of the mean. So that's kind of all that pink part. So if you are using colors, the 68% is the pink stuff for me. You don't have to use colors if you don't want to. Over here in the yellow is 13.5% on both sides. This is always the case, by the way. So how would we figure out what percent of the data is between these lines? You don't have to tell me the answer. Just tell me what I would do. 68% plus 13.5 plus 13.5. Exactly. So if I add up everything in between here, um, that's what would end up getting. Uh, that turns out to be 95%. So I'm going to write up here 95% uh, of the data is within two standard deviations of the mean. And by 95%, I'm going to put yellow and pink because it's not just the yellow, it's yellow and pink together. And then finally out here in the weirdos, we've got 2.35%. Uh, and 2.35% here. And that is 99.7% total of the data is within three standard deviations of the mean. And that for me is made up of pink and yellow and green now. That's only 99.7%. So where's the other 0.3% then? Is it on the last little tip at the end there? Yeah, but actually this little snippet keeps on going on forever. Like there are some real weirdos out there who are super short and there's some real weirdos out there who are ridiculously tall and those would be beyond the three standard deviations. So um, technically that kind of narrows out and keeps going for a very long time. So that's the data. What time are we at? Yeah, we got 10 minutes. So your homework tonight is gonna be a total of four problems. And I'm gonna do two of them with you. I'm gonna do half your homework. Sound good? Okay. Um, so open your books to page 96. I'm gonna leave this up for just a second longer. We're doing page 96, numbers 29 through 32.
Now I rewrote some of the answers in this book. which makes me think that my problems are different from yours. Maybe. Oh no, I understand what happened. Okay. All right, so we're gonna try 29 and 31 together. Michaela, what do you have after this class? I go to lunch. Okay. Um, do you mind sitting on the call with me for a few minutes and figuring out your calculator? We can do that. Okay. All right. So uh, for 29, it says that the mean speed of a sample of vehicles along a stretch of highway is 67 miles per hour. So I'm going to write mu equals 67 miles per hour. And it says the standard deviation is four miles per hour. And we're supposed to estimate the percent of vehicles that speeds are within 63 to 71. And it says that the data is bell shaped. So I'm going to quickly draw a little bell curve here. And so should you. It is surprisingly hard to do. That one wasn't so bad. All of these questions are going to be really exact, um, which is nice. And I'll tell you how to figure out um, not exact standard deviations later. But right now, the answer is always going to be one standard deviation, two standard deviations, three standard deviations. So the mean is 67. So I'm going to put that right in the middle. Does anybody know what I should put for this number right here? One standard deviation away? Yeah, you're right. What is it? 71. Yep, 71 because the standard deviation is four. So it's like I'm adding four, right? If I was going to keep going, I would say, oh, this is 75 and this is 79. And then over here on this side, I'm going to start subtracting four. So this is 63. This is 59. And this is uh, 55. And then it said, what percent of vehicles are between 63 and 71? Okay, so now look at your piece of paper. What percent of vehicles are in there? 68. Yes, 68%. That's the right answer. This isn't a very hard question to ask, um, but it is hard in the sense that um, it's just a little confusing about what they're talking about. Now we're going to do 31. Using the same sample statistics from exercise 30, uh, assume the, no, 29, assume the number of vehicles in the sample is 75. So now we've got an N of 75. We've got 75 vehicles that they saw along the highway. Estimate the number of vehicles whose speeds are between 63 and 71 miles per hour. Okay, so how can I figure out what percent or what amount of vehicles that is? We already know that it's 68% of them, right? So in your calculator, you would type in 75 times 68%. If you don't know how to do that, it has to be 75 times 0.68. So about 51 vehicles. 51 vehicles should be, I never know how to spell the word vehicles. I always spell, spell it incorrectly. I want to put a uh, C in where I don't need it. So that's A. And then B says, in a sample of 25 additional vehicles, about how many vehicles would you expect to have speeds between 63 and 71 miles per hour? So if instead of our N being um, 75, if our N changed to, what, what did it say? We're adding another 25. So now our N is 100. So 
we need to figure out what 68 of 100 is. 68% of 100. And um, I'm going to shame you a little bit if you just put that in your calculator because uh, 68 of 100 per, of 100, 68% of 100 is 68. Anyway, so that's it. That's how you do your homework. You've got to do two more for me for tonight. And make sure that well. you do, yeah. Uh, where, how'd you find the 68% for number 29 again? Um, okay, so that was when you left the room and that was between, so we made like this little chart mm -hmm. and, and we added four every time and subtracted four every time to figure yeah. out what was in between there. And since it's just in that one standard deviation, that's this right here, which is that 68%. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, so if you're good to go, you can go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys. Let me stop myself recording.